Alrighty, in this video we're going to talk about replying, forwarding, composing new messages, things like that. To do so, we need recipients, we need friends, we need people that we can actually send emails to. Um, in this one, we're, in this video, we're just going to type in names manually, but um, do be aware that this address book down at the bottom of my doc is where my computer keeps all of my contact information, including for other people. Okay, uh, Check out our other video on the address book to learn how to add contacts to your address book and add their email in your address book here, so that when you're using mail, writing new messages, replying and forwarding, you don't have to type in everybody's email address and you don't have to look it up. It will just automatically fill it in. Okay. Assuming that to be the case, let's go ahead. There's this new message button at the top of my toolbar right here. I can click on that to start a new message. I have my buttons along the top that are fairly standard. If I want to manually uh, attach something, I can click on the button. If I do want to open up my address book and browse through I have this one, I can change my fonts and my colors or I could save it to change it later. On the right side, you have Photo Browser, which will open up a window like this and will show you any pictures that you have in iPhoto or Aperture. In my case, I have none right now in this one. And you also have the Show Stationary button. We'll get back to that um, in a minute, but it's, uh, well, super snazzy. Wait for it. You'll enjoy it if you don't already know what it is. Uh, standard three fields, pretty self-explanatory. You write in who it's to right here. So let's say hello at interlacedink.com. Write in a subject if you feel like it, and then click down here in the empty white space and start typing. Okay. Write your email message and click send up here. But what about if we want to make it really cool? Like, let's say this is a thank you note for uh, services rendered. I can click on my show stationary button here in the top right corner, and it's going to bring up this little bar across the middle. I have categories along the left side that show me different types of message formats. So I'm going to click on the thank you one here. You'll notice that it fills in in my email with this nice template. I'm going to click hide stationary. And now I can just click here in this uh, space holder Latin text here and write Now I have just quickly and easily created a, a really beautiful custom email that I can send to Interlace to say thanks for all of your help. Um, this is just, it's so nice and such a nice way to put a little thought into those um, emails that you may send. Keep browsing through, you'll see their heart ones and get well and various stationary ones or photos if you go on a nice trip and you want to write a letter and include some photos in the email. Just a lot of nice um, templates for here. I use the birthday one pretty frequently. Um, so make use of your stationaries when you're composing new messages. I'm gonna. You could send this, but I'm just gonna close this message right here and say don't save. Okay. With a message selected, let's say I want to respond to my friend training here and uh, say hello back. You could click on the reply button here and it will open up a message like this and I could say okay and then I could send that off. I don't want to do that either so I'm going to click don't save. Uh, a lot of people wonder what's the difference between reply and reply all here. If I receive a message that was sent to say five other people uh, if I click reply, it's just going to reply to the one person that sent the email. 
But if I click reply all, it's going to reply to that one person that sent the email and everybody else that received the email, all five other people that received it. So if you're having a group conversation, like making plans, for example, scheduling things, um, you would probably use the reply all feature to just kind of keep everybody in the loop instead of replying to just one individual. Forward here, of course, will let you send on an email to somebody else. Virtually all of us have received and probably forwarded before. Um, you find it interesting, click forward and uh, just type in the address of whoever you want to send it to. And click send or add a note if you feel like it. That's it for creating new messages and replying and forwarding. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about mailboxes um, and how to keep your messages organized.